All right, guys, uh, coming to you today about a video about white smoke or a gray smoke coming from your lawnmower. Uh, this is the LT1040. Uh, this is um, a very dirty, gross lawnmower. Um, this was actually a free lawnmower. Uh, the lady said that it was had white smoke coming from the front and that it was burning up three belts per year, which the belt problem is a pulley, I'm pretty sure, is going to be a a pulley that's that's uh, stopped up uh, you know like very hard to turn uh, it just probably needs a new pulley that's what's uh, you should never be replacing one belt a year much less three but that's that's not what this video is about this video is about the white smoke and she was thinking that it's um, that the lawnmower was was done so she gave it away and I, I haven't even looked at it yet uh, let's see the hours So it's got a good charge. Uh, 5.35 is the, the hour total. So as you can see, this lawnmower has seen better days. I mean, it's just been left out in the weather. Just, just disgusting. Uh, so that, uh, and, and she said she hadn't done any maintenance on it. So that kind of uh, ruled out one of the problems that, I, that, that you normally see uh, with white smoke. And that is, um, if someone goes in and does an oil change on their lawnmower, and then they go to use their lawnmower after they've done an oil change, most of the time that's going to be your you you put too much oil in, uh, in into your your unit. But I'm going to zoom in here and show you. I haven't I haven't really got to look at the oil here. Let's see how much it is, but so. We see it's not full quite yet. I don't know if we can see that. Here we go. It's just under the full line, so it's it's not a case of too much oil. Um, that's a good thing here, or not a good thing. That's what you want it to be. Uh, that's actually the best case scenario is that you, someone's putting too much oil in, but they have not done an oil change, so that's not the problem. Uh, the other two big reasons I say there's other reasons why your, your lawnmower might smoke but two other uh, usual suspects are your head gasket and your valve cover gasket or uh, or even your valve cover bolts so I had one of these uh, lawnmowers just like this uh, but it was the next uh, next model where it's got like the different front end but it's still the white um, one of the problems that it had was the valve cover was leaking and the bolts had vibrated themselves out of the, their um, their holder so the bolts were actually out and then if you put the bolts back in they still didn't stay uh, they still worked their way out um, and so oil was coming out and through the bottom of the valve cover and dripping onto the exhaust I think that might be what's going on here just for the fact that the smell uh, she said it smelled really bad uh, so uh, we're gonna see hopefully it is that if it's the valve covers we're, we're in better shape uh, if it's a head gasket man it's just so hard to work on some of these uh, but we're gonna see we're, so we're gonna start it up and uh, I'm gonna put you up front just in case it starts coming I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to start smoking if it's an instant uh, but anyway uh, before I get to that let me show you this is a kind of a spark plug you see how it's oiled up and, and a lot of times you'll see carbon on top just tons of carbon that'll let you know if it's your head gasket uh, or it could be your head gasket so if you take out your plugs and look at your plugs and they look really really gunked up it could be your head gasket I haven't taken out the plugs yet of this so I, I really wanted to see what the smoke looked like first but um, uh, that that could give a, a dead giveaway but I'm hoping that it's a valve cover, uh, so we're going to start this thing up. So we're going to check it up.
there we have our smoke and I don't know if you can see that but that is actually burning oil on the exhaust I don't know if you can actually make that out so let me zoom you in here let's see if I can zoom you in yeah yeah right that right there is it is oil on the exhaust and that's what the smoking is and you can see the gasket is leaking it's leaking pretty bad not a big deal if that's all it is not a big deal um, a head gasket taking that off is a lot harder than just swapping that out taking some of that off and again it might be one of those cases where it's the bolt that has worked its way out and is allowing oil to spill out so somehow this engine is still in good shape and so that's uh what we know about it so again and i'll get into the pulleys and stuff i may do another video about the pulley but this main video is um about the white smoke and and it's not too bad it smells terrible and that was one of the giveaways that made me think that it might be the valve uh, uh, uh the valve gasket head instead of the head gasket so yeah uh this should be fixable uh this was again a free lawnmower so this is going to go to someone in need i have someone already in mind that they they can't afford much of anything much less a lawnmower and they really need one so that'll be going to them um it shouldn't take much to get this thing cleaned up and going and and uh it may the most expensive thing may be a pulley if i need it but anyway uh that's the white smoke problem uh okay here we are uh we took off the the top here uh one two three four bolts here took off the cover and took off the there's a front plate here um that covers it took that off uh, so we're here in the front and we can see right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom you in here But there's just so much build up right there and this exhaust is oh my god I got about rusted, but um, We can see the build up and so we know that there's some some Yeah, some tripping there. So we're gonna try to see what we can do about Getting this off and just seeing what we're working with um let me get uh, here. Oh, and I decided not to do a video on um, the pulley. I thought maybe it was something um, easy, but <laughs> uh, you, yeah, you can see that's this just needs a new one. That's all it was. And someone was actually running belts on that. I, I, I don't even know how that's possible. So, uh, but it, but they did it. Uh, so, props to them, I guess. All right, so. And I always use hand tools, when, especially when dealing with these gaskets. Something that has a gasket in it. Because a gasket may be good. It just may be loose bolts, which these bolts are coming off very easy. Too easy, to be honest. See how easy this one's going to come off. Yeah, I mean, just nothing to them. But uh, I'm still thinking that the gas gets bad. So we're going to see here. And then I'll take this exhaust off and clean it. Um, yeah, that, that, that bolt right there is it's just pure grease. Take out the spark plugs. Replace the spark plugs. Um, you can see, if you can see that right there. The starter everything about it is rusted I don't know how it is running this I think this may be burnt I don't know what this is to be oh my god yes that's burnt <laughs> how is this thing running I, just, I don't know uh, that is just wires right there it's just someone's put glue over this these wires Wow yet somehow this thing's running. Um, 
don't know what to say. I just can't explain. So, what we're going to be doing is, um, instead of using a gasket, we're going to be using silicone and just putting silicone in, in place of the gasket. Um, if you call Co-Cadet or even talk to anyone that even has messed with these gaskets, the gasket is like it's, it's not supposed to be in there. Uh, even the new gaskets that they've made, it's just, it's just as if the gaskets were like, ah, oh, man, we didn't plan for the gaskets to be in there. Uh, so silicone is going to be the best way to do it. Um, you're not going to be able to adjust the valves uh, without tearing this thing open. But um, I'm, I don't plan on doing that. As you can see, this is a, just a, such a bad condition. And as I'm digging into this, I can actually see it may actually be leaking from the head gasket as well. Head gasket may be leaking. Um, just a, it's just a total crap show. Uh, but here we go. I'm gonna take this off. See what we got. I don't see any brakes. Um, yeah. I'm actually this thing should not be coming off like that I don't see any brakes in this gasket so this gasket may be good hmm Zoom you in there. Yeah, so I'm looking at this thing. there's some tightness so yeah this gasket actually looks good I don't know what to tell you it's it's bad around the top here but it's not bad around the bottom which is I don't even know what to say let me blow this off okay so I got it cleaned off and so I see actually what it is and let me see if I can get you so there's the button this is just ridiculous that this has to be like this but there's the bottom of the gasket here i don't know if you can see this here's the bottom of the gasket all right see how it's folded in it's folded in right there there's nothing behind here there's no metal whatsoever behind this See how it's like this? I can push it back with my finger. I shouldn't be able to do that. Um, they should, that, that's just poor design. So it fits in the front. It fills in right there, but there's nothing on the back side. So it's bent back and, it's, and the oil is just leaking. There's nothing there to keep it there. So, I, and I'll show you once I get um, this. this. This is poor design. Poor design in every way of the let's just try to peel this thing off we may have to still silicone and I don't even know if silicone is gonna work because again there's nothing in the back so you can see here once I peel this thing off you're gonna be able to see what I'm talking about oh yeah and see it see a dripping right there out of the so here is this part it's got nothing behind it and then that's where your leak's coming from. Ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, what were they thinking? Um, man. 
you know, I could probably try to do silicone, but um, be honest with you. Um, I don't think it's going to work because of that big gap there. And as you can see, it's it's broken there too. So that's never going to actually hold in what it needs to hold in. So put that to the side. All right, so let's get the silicone tried. All right, so. That's not gonna cut it. Thank you. 
Now, this is a really bad job, I know. This is poorly done. But what I hope to do... This thing done right here.
All right, so this is a very terrible job as you can see, but we're gonna just see if it'll work. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll just go back and do all silicone. We won't even worry about doing um, the gasket. We'll just take it all out and do straight silicone this time. But um, just wanna, I'm just very curious to see if it'll work with the old gasket. It takes an hour to dry, but of course I'm gonna do the 24 hours, so. See if it works. Okay, so saved everyone the trouble of watching me put these bolts back in, but nasty hands and all. Uh, I went ahead and put it on, and I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Uh, I had to cover up the valves anyway, so they didn't get any moisture. It's supposed to get pretty cold tonight, but anyway. Um, we're gonna see. I mean, if it doesn't work again, we'll just do all silicone, and we won't even waste our time with with uh, the gasket. Uh, I just wanted to use the original gasket because I think that it really uh, proved to be beneficial. But we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll we'll just see. Let's just say that. Um, yeah, I can feel this back here. So, that's the part I'm worried about, the part in the back, but we'll see. Um, let's go overnight and then start it up and just see what happens. Okay, so we're back. Um, we've had 24 hours on the, uh, well, not quite 24 hours, but we let it, left it overnight. And um, now, uh, I'm just getting up all the little oil spots that was on here previous. So, um, I probably should use a Dremel, but just trying to get all the old oil that had been dripping off. It's hard to get in that gap. I should have already done that. I probably could pull the muffler if I really wanted to. So, without being able to get all the oil, there's gonna be some smoking, I'm sure, at first. Uh, but that oil, that's going to be the old oil. I'm looking for drips um, from this bottom part. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, it's going to be smoking still from the oil that we even spilt uh, from taking the thing off. So there's going to be some old oil. So let me spray it off. All right, let's give it a crank. Well, we did it. Uh, 
we fixed the um, um, problem. Let me shut off this air compressor. We fixed the problem with uh, the original gasket and some silicone. Um, again, this was, let me show you what this was. Um, let me back back out here. Here we go. Uh, gasket, make, and sealant. Maker and sealant, that's the one I used. I used the one that said uh, valve covers on it. And But I used the original as well, so uh, they could fill up the gaps and the voids and just put the silicone around it. It works. No oil leak. It really could use a new muffler, but uh, besides being absolutely caked and dirty, I don't know how this thing is running. Uh, <clears throat> especially look at that coil. Look at that. The whole thing is rusted. Somehow it still works. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so if you have a problem with white smoke, check your valve cover. It may be an easy fix. Okay, so here it is. Um, complete. Um, we've cleaned it up, you know, uh, pretty good. There is the, the working pulley. Uh, it luckily has the side with the cover. The other side doesn't have a cover. We, uh, cleaned it up. So, as you can see, if you remember, that gas tank was filthy. You couldn't even read the letters here. It looks really, I need to get in that little gap there, but so much better everything looks so much better wheels i've already been mowing with it you can see how clean it is okay there's some more places i gotta get but that is it so let me start it up and show you the smoke is gone and the pulley works First of all,
So as you can see, we got our uh, finished product. It works. Uh, it's been cleaned up. Uh, again, this was a free mower. Uh, this will go to someone in need in, in the family that I know that needs one. Uh, but you too can fix um, your mower easily. Don't throw it in the trash yet. Easy pulley fix, uh, $15 for the pulley, $5 for the gasket. Uh, you make your own gasket from JB, Mel, uh, JB Weld, that's $5. So a total of $20 to get a lawnmower working, plus you know the, the, the cleaning and time. Um, you know, but if you've seen the beginning of this video, you know how dirty this was. Uh, so, easy. Thanks.